everyone, this is Jan and I got another review for you on today. In honor of Black History Month, I am going to be honoring one of our wonderful soul food restaurants here in Jacksonville, Florida. But before I get started, I would like to just give a special recognition to a few other soul food restaurants here in Jacksonville that I patronize. And they are so wonderful. Being that I'm a dietetic tech as well as a culinary artist, I'm not working in the field right now, but I am certified in those areas. I give much respect for those restaurant owners that are out there. So I would like to give a special um, thank you and thank you for being in our community to the Austin's restaurant owned by a wonderful family, the Austin family, Nikki Austin, as well as her mother, Charlene Austin, and all of their family. They pretty much work there. They have wonderful, delicious food located in Jacksonville, Florida, right on Main Street. So if you're traveling, come on Main Street and you can get some delicious food. Right now, they're going through a renovation, but as soon as they're complete, please go there. And I think they're opening up another location on the north side, so check them out. Another wonderful place that I like to pay recognition to is the Blue Diner located on the north side of town. They have delicious soul food and the Potter's House Soul Food Bistro. They have two locations, one on Atlantic Boulevard as well as one on Lenox Avenue. So go by those places. Thank you guys for all the wonderful contributions that you do in Jacksonville. Black owned businesses with delicious restaurant soul food. But today I am going to be honoring and just reviewing the Soul Food Express. It, the owner is Al Collins and they call him the Mirror Jacksonville. They have been open for some years now. They are located right next to the expressway. So if you're traveling and you want some delicious soul food, you can get right off on the expressway. And they are located on 1227 East 21st Street, Jacksonville, Florida, 32206. So look up Soul Food Express. Uh, they do do carry out right now due to COVID. Make sure you have your mask on. And also they do delivery as well as you can call in your order. Now I'm gonna tell you, their food is so good. If you go there on a Sunday and you don't like to stand in a long line because the line is normally out the door on Sunday, <laughs> you better make sure you call that order in and they will have it for you. Once again, the owner is Al Collins. He is from the east side of Jacksonville and he loves to give back to the community. On Christmas time, they even have a big food grit giveaway to everybody, which is wonderful. And his family works there and his staff is absolutely wonderful. So now, let's get started on the food. Enough talking. Okay, so what I have here today, now to all my vegans, vegetarians, those people that are trying to get off meat right now, or if you're on a Daniel fast, I'm telling you, you will enjoy this food. As a matter of fact, the lady that served me today, she happened to be a vegetarian, and as soon as I told her I wanted the veggie plate, which is actually a four vegetable plate that they give you, she automatically told me, she was like, I'm a vegetarian myself, and started recommending some really great things to me. So I told her, I said, well, just put, put your recommendations on the plate. They have several different vegetables, you guys, as well as delicious. They have meats as well, but as a vegetarian, I like to go ahead and just give our vegetarians and vegans some other options if they're wanting to eat out and get a delicious meal. Okay, let's get started. I got some squash today. I got me some collard greens today in honor of Black History Month. I got me some cabbage today in honor of Black History Month and some sweet potatoes. They also give you two breads. They give you a like a bread pudding and they also give you a cornbread. And they have this other bread that I think they call it crackling bread. So you can get crackling bread as well. And also, she was telling me that potato salad is delicious. So I'm gonna review that with you on today. Now you guys listen. I got one of the weaknesses because I wanted to show you all this because you know what? This will make you not want to be a vegan and a vegetarian. That macaroni and cheese, oh my God. <laughs> I wanted to show you guys. That macaroni and cheese is so good, okay? Now, I ain't talking about your mama, your grandmama, or yourself with your, re with your recipe, but they have some really good macaroni and cheese. It's not vegan. 
is not vegetarian, but it's some really good macaroni and cheese. So um, the kids love it, adults love it. They do a great job on this dish. So let's get started, okay? Oh, great, I am so excited, I'm so excited. Okay, I'm first gonna start uh, with the greens. I'm gonna start with the greens first. And as you can see, you guys, it's not, they don't have like all that meat in their food. So they're catering towards, they're seasoning their foods, but they're not having like a lot of meats in it in the event you don't eat um, meat, okay? All right, here I go, collard greens. It's collard greens. Let's see. Collard greens. They're good. Very tasty. Very tasty. Okay? All right, this is a squash. Mmm. Squash is good. <laughs> squash is good, you guys. Okay, this is the cabbage. Now, like I said, they have lots of other vegetables like okra and corn, and they have black eyed peas and lima beans, all different the field peas. Um, all different, you know, other green beans, yellow rice, white rice, di all different types of desserts, cakes, pies, whatever you want. Okay, this is the cabbage. Mm. Mm hmm. Okay, this is good. Cabbage is really good. All right. Mm. And the sweet potatoes. Sweet potatoes, I, I like the regular sweet potatoes that they grow. They're not the canned candy yams. These are the real sweet potatoes. Mm, that's good. <laughs> wow, that is so good. Good sweet potatoes, they taste so fresh. Okay, mm. okay, now I'm gonna taste the potato salad. I'm gonna taste the potato salad, okay. She highly recommended the potato salad to me. Wow. That's good. That is really delicious. You know, my mom made some good potato salad, so I'm kind of, I, I, you know, I'm real funny about potato salad, but that's some good potato salad, you guys. And let me taste a little bit of that cornbread. Mmm. Cornbread is good. I'm not a bread pudding person, so I'm not going to eat the bread pudding. But the, the bread pudding looks like it's really good. I see look like pineapples and peaches and, and raisins in it. So if you love bread pudding, they give you a piece of bread pudding that come along with the, with the dinner. So this was the vegetable plate. You get four vegetables. I got an extra side that came with mine, which was the potato salad. And everything was delicious. Of course, they have all different types of drinks. They have tea, they have uh, lemonade, also like a pink lemonade. So anyway, I have done my review. I hope you enjoyed it, you guys. Thank you so much. For all of you that's been watching the reviews, um, I do wanna let you know this. If you wanna be healthy and be the best you, Eat your fruits, vegetables, herbs, and drink water too. Get some rest until the next review. And remember to pray and strive to be the very best you. If you want to be healthy and be the best you, eat your fruits, vegetables, herbs, and drink water too. Do some exercise, get some rest until the next review. And remember to pray and strive to be the very best you. All right, you guys. Thank you so much for looking at the review. I will see you next time. And God bless. Bye-bye.